It's been a year since that devastating earthquake shook Nepal. The intensity was 7.8 and it left many homeless and shaken up. One year later, citizen journalists from the ground are reporting if the situation has changed at all. Let's take a look at their video blogs. I'm Shivani Chemjong and I've turned citizen journalist today to tell you about my experiences of the devastating earthquakes of Nepal one year ago on this particular day. The ancient monuments of historical importance turned into dust right in front of us. Streets were flooded with people looking for a safer place, mud homes toppled. It was a horrific experience. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake which struck the entire nation killed over 8,000 people. It injured hundreds and millions were displaced. And electricity was cut off, mobile network was down. And we, although we could go inside our homes, we chose to stay outside in makeshift tents for weeks, which caused a lot of inconvenience for everybody. Within minutes of the earthquake, help poured in from across the world. Different countries sent us funds and they funded helicopters for the rescue operations. The aftermath of the disaster is being felt by thousands of Nepalis who are still confined to temporary shelters even after one year. The government has not done much for them. Some have started rebuilding their homes on their own, while some still wait for the relief amount promised by the government due to weak financial conditions. Life returned back to normal within a few months. Businesses and offices reopened, the roads were cleared, and people started moving on with their own lives. But the earthquake ravaged infrastructure is yet to rise. This is Shivani Chemjong in Kathmandu for CNN News 18. My name is Mani and I'm a Nepali. Last year's devastating earthquake left Nepal in shambles. It is extremely unfortunate that even after one year, the rehabilitation is slow and there are many who are living in makeshift arrangements. We want better results and we want them soon. Hi, I'm Ashya Chan and I'm a Nepal. It's been a year since the earthquake, but the wounds of Nepali people are still not healed. The economy has taken a hit and the tourism industry, which is crucial for Nepal, has been affected very badly. I appeal for quicker rehabilitation so that tourists can start coming again. 